Greetings, men of the watch. I am your Lord Commander, and welcome back to our Night's Watch series here in the lands of Calradia. Now, before we begin, yes, I am clean shaven now. Oh, I figured 2024 New Year, new mustache kind of thing going on. Um, but that means I gotta take care of the skin underneath it, so I will be attempting to shave uh, either every day or every two days, basically. Uh, just a little personal life update, I suppose. But, um, I am trying to grow my facial hair out the right way, you know what I'm saying? That way the hair grows out, like, thicker, more healthy, you know, the way it's supposed to. Uh, so I am trying to take care of myself a little bit better this year. Uh, and that includes, you know, making sure my face is all clean and pretty and everything like that. So, unfortunately, for the time being, no more makeup while I get my dermatology under, <laughs> under wraps and all that, lads. Now, another life update. This one is a little more important, but there is uh, a major storm, like, winter storm, basically crashing down upon us down here. Uh, so... I may end up losing power, I may end up losing access to the internet, so if that is the case, I will attempt to keep you guys updated, uh, but if I cannot, and there's just randomly no uploads for like a couple of days, or I mean, worst case scenario, a couple of days, no uploads, uh, it's probably because of the storm, the winter storm. Uh, but just a heads up, that that is something that I'm dealing with uh, the, the for the next couple of weeks as well, so... But that being said and done, my loyal rangers, let us get back into the adventure. Beginning with the introduction of our two newest uh, recruits here. So let us start with Groose the True. Groose comes from one Lane Seville. His name is Groose, a true Batanian. As tall as the trees and as wide as the mountains, with a beard that flows like the rivers after a winter thaw. This giant of a man had a troubled past and is looking for a purpose in his life. When he was a young boy, he went hunting with his father. When the two were tracking down their prey, a wolf lunged out of the trees and killed Groose's father and left the boy without an eye. With blurred vision and fear, Groose grabbed the closest thing that he could and threw it at the wolf with all his might. It was his father's axe and it struck the wolf straight into its skull. He managed to limp his way into Maronath, where he was picked up by a fighter's guild who wanted to exploit the young boy's size and strength in the arenas of Batania. The young boy fought for many years, even into his adulthood, until one day he was defeated by none other than the Lord Commander Sir William himself. Only after hearing of his successes in the Five Battles of the Black Fork, Groose sought out this Lord Commander and his Rhydarian Guard, and bent the knee in service unending. A little bit of an abridged version of uh, Lane Seville's background, but uh, pretty much the gist of it. They did meet in the, uh, in the arenas and everything like that. He did lose his eye to a wolf while hunting, uh, the same wolf that killed his dear father. And now he carries with him his father's axe as well. On the, uh, on the field of battle. Here's our man, the mountain of a man. This is Groose the True. Yeah, very nice. He wears the bear pelt that he was uh, hunting with his father. And uh, carries his father's axe with him as well. And he's got incredible uh, throwing capabilities. So I gave him three sets of throwing spears. But pretty badass. I'm very excited to see this man on the, uh, the field of battle. And now lastly, we have Sir Richard who comes to us from Damien Anthony Mercado. Sir Richard was a previous lord from Vlandia. As a lord, he had many privileges and positions within his kingdom. However, his clan were in bad terms with the king, and in a fitting way to preserve his own power, the king slaughtered Richard's clan and blamed it on the young man himself. Richard was devastated and fled from Vlandia. As he fled from his home, he was captured by bandits and held as a prisoner for many weeks. That is, until one day when the Lord Commander himself charged into the bandits' hideout and took the head of the bandit leader. With no home to return to and no certain future to run towards, Sir Richard bent the knee and upon this sacred ground he pledged his life and sword in service unending. Very nicely done from all of our uh, wonderful commenters. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Um, we do have a queue, like a character queue set up. 
So as we start to get uh, more and more characters or more and more companions even, uh, we do have a list of uh, character suggestions from you guys in the comments that we will be uh, putting into practice at some point. I promise we will attempt to get to everybody at some point within the series. And even if it not in this series, there was always more opportunities in the series to come. But with that said and done, my loyal rangers, let us get back into the adventure. Now, uh, we do find ourselves in a, uh, a bit of an age of peace, which means that we will be uh, hurting for some bit of action uh, for the time being. At least until we can find uh, either some jobs to do or something like that. There's really not a whole lot going on, and even then, like we've done a lot of tournaments as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to patrol around the lands of Batania, and if anything uh, exciting or important happens, I will let you guys know. But if not, we're probably going to end up waiting around until we declare war again. Because for the time being, it seems, and it only seems, like our lands are currently uh, safe for the time being. But yes, if anything exciting happens, I will let you all know. Three weeks later. Alrighty lads, finally, I uh, I didn't want to have to do this, but I did have to kind of cheat, mo uh, cheat mode my way into declaring war. Um, so the goal was to declare war on the Southern Empire because we had 81% support, and I figured they're slightly stronger than us, so hopefully they would send men our way. Um, but then whenever I did it, what happened was I was not paying attention to the... Uh, the alliances that they had and they do have an alliance with the bronze guardians of the north So we do find ourselves at war once again with the bronze guardians. However, I will say they are Significantly weaker than when we first faced against them. So hopefully we can in fact uh, Defend a little better this time around from our enemies to the north Hopefully we'll find out um but our moment comes at last, my loyal uh, rangers of Batania, my loyal rangers of the Rhydarian Guard. We can now go off to war against our foes once again. This time, we are much more prepared and much uh, and a much greater foe to face on the field of battle. They will find no easy victory against us this day, lads. Not this time. Ah, Simir. Hello, lad. 144 infantry. Yeah, his infantry is going to be an issue. But I wonder if I cannot goad him into another bridge battle. Come on, my lord. Yeah, come at me, you rat bastard. The Lord Samir of the North. You cannot defeat me. And I'll teach you a painful lesson if you try. Yield. No, my lord, you see, you attempt to charge into the lands of Britannia, into my homeland. It is my sacred and sworn duty, my sworn oath, to defend these lands to the last breath. Your numbers may be greater, but our cause is stronger. And for this reason, I believe you are the one who ought to surrender. So... We fight then. Indeed we shall, my lord. Yeah, even with 50 more men than we have, the balance of power is still pretty even. So I, I hope we can keep them pretty blocked off on this, uh, this bridge here, and our archers can pick them off. This here will be our great comeback. This will be our great vengeance for those who have fallen at the hands, at the blades and axes of the sturgeons, of the bronze guardians of the north. Ah, oh, the rat bastards. This game, bro. They didn't give us the bridge at all. We're literally right on top of it. I don't understand. Ah, oh, that's upsetting. Um, we're not gonna have the greatest terrain on our side, if I'm being honest. Yeah, certainly not. Because it's really nothing but, like, open terrain over here. But there is a wide enough, or a tall enough ridge here... For us to put our uh our 69 nice archers <laughs> all righty lads fear not the uh the coming of our enemies 
This is not the first time we have fought against the, uh, the Bronze Guardians of the North, and it shall not be the last, certainly. They come to us now, a hunting party, as they, uh, they attempt... Mountain Archers! ...to kill the, uh, the disgraced Prince of the North, Sir Brandon Preston, previously known as Brynja, uh, Beorson. Give him hell! Cavalry! Attack! Give them no quarter, brothers. We shall certainly not uh, retrieve any or receive any in kind. Alright, am I just like missing every shot? That's awful. I'm so bad. There we go. Much better. Look at them, they're nervous. They're scared to engage, lads. Fight to die well, brothers. Your heart and soul to the Rhydarian Guard. Come on, you rat bastards. Heathen scum of the north. You'll find no easy victory this day. Come on, brothers. Come on. Oh no, he's gonna kick me down. Oh, you rat bastard. Don't you turn your back on me. Oh, nice. Nice. Soldier attack! All that remains are their archers, lads. Cut them down, let us finish this. No retreats for the enemies. Oh, look at Sir Richard. Oh, look at the mad lad go. What a badass. Hiya. Ooh, damn, we're good. God damn. Nice. Ooh. All right, now we're just hitting our own men. Oh, but we did lose seven brothers, lads. Two guardians, a guardsman, and four sworn brothers. Their final leaf has fallen, and their bodies return to the earth. May they rest in peace. Oh, beautiful lads. It is quite beautiful. We've managed to hold them here, but now we must return to our allied territories. Yeah, because we are quite slow, and we have some wounded... Uh, some wounded men that we need to take care of. Nice, and we donate our first prisoner of war. How lovely. We could have donated the rest of those troops in order to get even more influence and thus more gold, but I'd rather just sell them as is. It's perfectly fine by me. Very nice. We're going to get the uh, famous commander perk. 50% re uh, renown gain from battles. Very nice. Plus 200 experience to troops on recruitment, which is also really cool. So, very nice. We are the uh, the famous Lord Commander now, lads. This is going to increase the amount of uh, influence we gain from battles. Or, did it say influence or renown? Renown. Okay. So, that's going to increase our clan tier. Renown is our clan tier. That's fine. I'll take that too. Not worried about it. Oh, wait. We definitely need to uh, recruit some more troops as well. Uh, there's a couple of sworn brothers here. Three sworn brothers. And then let's get some more dregs. Lovely. Lovely. Thank you, lads. Nice. 1,300 men here. They're going to go for Flintog. Yeah, they are. Oh, no. The villagers. All right. You move on, my king. High king. I shall take on these bastards here. You wish to bully the small folk, eh? 79 men to fight against the, uh, the villagers. Yeah, that's what I thought, you right, bastard. Castamir of the North. You, sir, are a spineless snake and a disgrace to warriors of all caliber. You know that our realms are at war. Surrender or die. Yeah, 
He's gonna he's gonna try and weasel his shit way out of here, but he's not gonna make it out, lads. Vengeance for the people of uh, where was he attacking? Sver Sver Sven, yeah, Svenrin, Svenrin. Yeah, vengeance, lads. <laughs> Basically, <laughs> you get it. You get the gist of it. Cavalry, kill the motor troop. We've got a lot of uh, good cavalry troops. I like it. The mad lads are looking good. Well, it's mostly 18 horse archers, but I'll take them. Alrighty, brothers. This is it. This is our moment. This here is the core of our tenants, lads. They attempted to bully our small folk, our people, our brothers and sisters and neighbors and friends. And we will not allow this, uh, you know this treachery to uh occur any longer look at these mad lads i can't get over how good they look anyway lads soldiers follow archer follow me all of you with me brothers follow your lord commander yeah the archers are going to start popping off shots as soon as they can which is perfect the rest of you follow me lads Look at the snakes as they try to escape. They slither on their bellies like spineless worms. Archers, open fire on them. Oh no, Sir Richard's banner. They hold the banner on the hill, lads. Come on, lads, with me. I was like, did they just drop their shields? That's horrifying. Why would they do such a thing? Come on, brothers. Death before dishonor. Yeah, get down there, you bastards. Come on. Death to the Bronze Guardians. Death to the heathens of the North, lads. Kill the bastards all. Yeah, very nicely done. Victory, my warriors. Oh, beautifully done, lads. That is amazing. We lost one man. A Red Rider. Oh, man. His uh, sacrifice has made this a safer realm. His sacrifice has paid for the blood spilt in the uh, the village of Svenrin. Svenrin, yeah. <laughs> his final leaf has fallen and his body returns to the earth. May he rest in peace. And as for you, Castamere, you spineless worm, you and your men will come with us to answer for your crimes against the Batanian High Kingdom and her people. Lovely. Very nicely done. But now we must return to Seonan once more to offload our prisoners and our loot. Worry not, people of Flintog Castle and Uthalheim. Soon you shall return to the lands of Batania, to the culture and the, uh, you know, the lands of your birth. Very nice. And now Castamir, the spineless worm, will sit in the dungeons next to his kinsman, Simir. Perfect. And the rest of you lads will be turned into gold. Alright. I'm going to come and scout out this area of Uthalheim Castle. This is an enemy controlled territory. I'll not chase down the uh, the enemies however. Instead we shall patrol these lands. Yeah, undoubtedly the, uh, the Bronze Guardians of the North are going to attempt to sneak around this army. Damn, please tell me they don't lose this battle. They literally have a thousand men. Yeah, he runs. Look at him go. Be gone. Yeah, very nice. We're going to catch the bastard real quick. Oh, the poor young lad. Oh, man. Sorry we have to do this to you, but we're going to do it to you. All right. I'm thinking we could let our horsemen 
uh, take a break, if I'm being honest. But look at the mad lads. Like, it's just a, a force, man. Look at all these red rangers. Ah, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Look at our sworn brothers of the Rhydarian God. Our knights watch indeed. Ah, oh, the Guardian, the Red Knights, Sir Brandon Preston himself, Victorian Von Cranbell, and Groose the True. Where is the, uh, the mad lad? Where is Will Barothman? Here he is. Oh, look at him. Oh, Jon Snow indeed. Very nice. All right, lads. Soldiers! Arrows! Follow me! After me, lads. They don't have enough uh, cavalry to be any kind of a problem for us. So we shall take them down on our own. Without the aid of our own cavalry units. We shall simply march at them with the full strength of our guard. Yeah, look at these mad lads. Yeah, very nice. Archers, open fire as soon as you come into range of the enemies. Yeah. Kill the bastards all, lads. Oh! Prepare for return fire, lads. The ratchets are right out there in the open for us, lads. Let us make them pay for every inch of ground into Britannian lands that they step. Every step into our lands will be paid for with blood. Blood of the enemy. Blood of the heathen bastard of the north. Okay. Oi. I'm taking some shots here, lads. Careful now. Nice. Is this the lord of the army who comes charging at us like a fool? Yeah, his bannerman is down. Go on, lads. Come here. Ah, oh, the bastard. He's mine. Oh, never mind. Everyone, kill them all. Go on, my Rhydarian guard. My knights watch. Kill the bastards all. Honestly, I might have to turn that mod off. It kind of just gets in the way and, and disrupts the flow of, uh, of combat, in my opinion. Y'all let me know in the comments, though, if you, uh, if you like the kill moves or if they kind of just get in the way. Death to the enemies of Batania. Kill the bastards all. Oh, only the one rider remains. And he's gonna flee. Yeah, he's gonna turn tail and run. Come on, there's literally seven of you all taking his ass out. Come on. Somebody hit him, please. Anybody. There we go. Alright. Very nice. Look at the mad lads. I love them. Look at Victorian Von Cranbell. Ah, oh, amazing. I love these guys. This is by far one of my favorite com uh, campaigns we've ever done in this game so far. Without a doubt, one of my favorites. Very nice. We are doing very well for ourselves, lads. We are losing one dinar. Which isn't bad, though. Our mercenary contract is giving us 1,200 dinars, but our party wages are 1,201. But honestly, I'm kind of okay with those numbers. I'm not, I'm not entirely mad at it. Alrighty, lads. We charge off once more into the fray. I keep saying I'm going to ditch the uh, the accent for this episode, and I end up continuing on to use the accent. Come on, dude. Like, please finish this siege battle. I beg of thee. Oh, no. They're going to engage my lord. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we take them together. Very nice. Voldrat. A poor young man. Forced to fight in the uh, the new king's army. Or in his, you know, in his wars and whatnot. We send the troops this time around. God, we lost four men though. A Fian Ranger, a Ranger, a Red Ranger, and a Red Rider. Their final leaf has fallen and their bodies return to the earth. May they rest in peace. Very nice. You are my prisoner now, my lord. Little lord. Very nice. Flintog Castle has been taken. Thank goodness. I was worried about them for a second, lads. Let us go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Donate prisoners. 
Yeah, look at them. Four of them already right off the bat. I love that. Lovely. All right. One castle has been taken and another one still stands in our way. I hope Alec de Bruce uh, does in fact come to uh, to Uthalheim next. Let's us retake the lands that were once ours before we go charging into uh, Brunsgardian territories. I do wish to defend this uh, this here bridge, however, from the coming onslaught. Yeah, of the uh, of the Bronze Guardians of the North. But now Uthaline must be taken, must be liberated, for the uh, for the Batanian people once again. Damn it! Yeah, they've caused more casualties than we have so far, which is why we're technically pretty tied up, which sucks. And the only reason it's this bad is because of the uh, the siege battle for Flintolg, because of Alex uh, Alec de Bruce. <sighs> Bastard. Yeah, that's a shame. Because in that same battle, they only managed to give plus 6% to their casualty rate. Whereas ours took 16% of the casualties. Damn. Yeah, that's kind of tough. These are tough numbers indeed. But Vildur is on his way, undoubtedly, to come and uh, retake Flintold Castle. And if that be the case... Yeah, here they come, lads. We're going to have to wait in here. Very nice. The Lord Ergion has created an army. Yeah, but uh, Vildor travels to Flintolg. We shall wait here and hopefully uh, be able to engage with them in combat. Yeah, join the defense of Flintolg Castle. We shall aid in the uh, in the defense here, certainly. Yeah, let's get some Ballista. They, these Ballista are going to build much faster and uh, reload much faster, which means we can pop off some more shots. Yeah, come on. Defending Flintog, yes, Ergion with 651 men. Come on, lads. Come on, my lord, Ergion, we are here. Oh, no. <gasps> Fuck, Yorig's army with 700 men. Damn it. Oh, man, our odds have just gotten considerably worse. Oh, of course they're going to go to Uthalheim. You bastards, no. Damn it. Move to reserves. All right, start building some catapults now, because now we need to start dealing some, uh, some major troop damage. Fuck! 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 All right, put the put the ballista back up. Put all of them back up. Damn it! I don't think they I don't think they went back up. If I'm being honest, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Our best bet is to deal as many casualties as we can, and with our archer numbers, I'm hoping I'm hoping we can make this work. Follow your sergeants. Yep. Let's get to it, lads. Oh, man. This is it, my Rhydirian guard. Oh, let us defend these lands to the last breath. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There's so many of them, dude. Like, what do we even do here? Oh, man. Damn, dude. Yeah, there's just so many of them. Nice. So we're, we're getting some shit done. It's not bad. Yeah, look at our man. The Western Boltons. Hell yeah. We have to deal as many casualties as we can. We must hold them here. Oh. He sidestepped me. That's pretty good. Alright, not bad. 
Come here, you bastards. Yeah, there we go. Popping off some shots, lads. Nice. Their archers are being decimated. At least this first wave of them. Because they have hella troops. Let us make no mistake. Come on, let's deal some damage to their, uh... Ah, oh, dude, I'm already almost out of ammunition. This is awful. Can I refill my arrows, please? Alright. The game basically told me to fuck off. Oh, I can't refill unless I'm, like, fully out, can I? That kind of... That kind of sucks. But they, they have no siege towers. It's literally just the battering ram. So if we can continue to deal damage as best we can... We might find victory here, lads. Especially if we can uh, take down their battering ram, too. Yeah, I'm out of ammunition now, lads. Hello? Arrow barrel? There we go. Perfect. Thank you. Oh, yep. Here comes the second wave of troops. Love that. Yeah, they don't have a whole lot of archers, but it is going to be a, a pretty massive melee fight. Uh-oh. All right, I got to get down there. Mind me not, lads. Mind me not. Are they fleeing? Are they running? <gasps> Let's fucking go, lads! For the glory of Britannia, we have held this castle against the waves of enemies of the heathen bastards of the north. Oh my god, that was beautiful, lads. Oh man, our archers, our rangers, our boltans, but we have no room. We have none, unfortunately. That was amazing. Oh my god. We lost one man, a Fian ranger. He has died. For the very goal, the core tenet of our very cause, lads. He died giving his life to defend the lands of Britannia. His blood now waters the ground upon which a new age will grow and thrive and survive. Ah, oh, that is amazing. Look at them flee the absolute cowards. Ah, oh, that is beautiful, lads. 84 influence, 83 renown. That is beautiful, lads. His final leaf has fallen and his body returns to the earth. May he rest in peace, knowing that his sacrifice meant something. Oh, how beautiful, lads. That was amazing. I, oh my god. Please tell me we took all of their lords prisoner. One, two, three, four... Five, six. <gasps> Dude, it's Spartan the Resilient. Oh, man. We've taken him prisoner. That's number six. Number seven. Eight. Nine. Oh, dude, that is beautiful. 942 prisoners. Oh, you've got to be shitting me, bro. That's insane. Oh my god, that was such a beautiful, beautiful siege defense. And we didn't even do anything. Oh, that was amazing. Very, very well done, my brothers. That was just... Whew, not bad. Certainly not bad at all. By any means. That victory shall stick with us for quite some time. I am sure of it. Here we go. We're going to also uh, outfit our lads with some proper armor. Some better armor, at least. Oh, how lovely. An Uruk is all that remains. Return to Flintog. Approach the castle. Beautiful. Let us go to the dungeon and donate our prisoners. All nine of these bastards. Oh, that is amazing. We will gain 89 influence for that. Oh, how lovely, lads. Very nice. We're at 283 influence. We've done so, so, so very good for ourselves here, lads. That was so good. 
Oh, that was beautifully done. Now let us uh, attempt to return to Seonon. Yeah, with one one speed. Oh, they raid Flintog, the rat bastards. Look at them. They tried it. Flintog is now also under siege. All right, lads, we return to Flintog and swiftly, lads. Ah, oh, looters, the rat bastards. All right, we cannot let them take the castle. Oh, Storbjorn Bayerson. Oh, yeah, let's cut off uh, Lek. All right, as long as he's not uh, starting the siege just yet, because there's still th 233 men here. Oh, we've made peace. Alec de Bruce of the Batanians has decided to make peace with the sub Southern Empire. All right. Hey, we have forgive. Uh, our debt is forgiven, though. We were just like, hey, you know, we're too far away. I don't really give a shit about y'all, so we're gonna leave them be. And honestly, I'm okay with that. We are absolutely brutalizing the uh, the Bronze Guardians of the North. That is amazing. Where are your gods now? Storbjorn Bayerson. Yeah, we must watch our backs, however. Alright, they have started the siege. We must simply be wary here, lads. Uh, they don't have a whole lot of cavalry, but they do have a ton of horse archers. So even with our current numbers, I worry about the absolute strength that they're going to have against us. So, I'm hoping they waste more and more troops against the, uh... Yeah, against the castle garrison. Oh, come on. The Vlandians, no! King Edward, you bastard! Oh, why would you do this? Oh, man. Look at the absolute strength they've amassed from the west. Dude, that is awful. That's absolutely awful. Hold on. Yeah, the Vlandians... 8,800 strength. Paying 10,000 tribute a day? For what? Damn, dude. That sucks. Yeah, the support for making peace with the Bronze Guardians has gone up now. But our tribute payments are still going to be 2,900. That sucks. Come on, keep wasting your numbers. I think not. Get lost, you rat bastard. Yeah, keep wasting your numbers. Lashenek, no! Be gone! Alright, they only have 70 men left in the in the defense. Damn, that's still a lot of men. But they don't have any ranged. Alright, fuck it. My hands are sweating horrendously. I'm very quite nervous. If we, uh, we are gonna continue on with this battle, and then afterwards, I'm probably gonna end this episode. Like, uh, full disclosure, I might end up ending this episode. Um... But for the time being, we assault the siege camp, lads. Yeah. Damn. The balance of power is pretty outrageous here. But I believe we can make this work. We need the terrain on our side, though. We attack. On my orders! Oh, damn. I did not think this through. Not in the slightest. Because I forgot we're not going to have any kind of terrain to help us out here. Literally not at all. Horsemen! Jump! Horse attack! Come on! Ah, oh, I missed. Move! 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 Damn it. Yeah, we're gonna have to move our men forward. Mountain archers! Attack! Soldier! Charge! Roots! Give them hell! Come on, lads. Death to the enemies of Batania! Death to the heathen bastards! Come on! Kill them all, lads! Come on! Come on! Oh, damn.
It's brutal. Oh, look at that numbers dwindle, lads. Our archers are getting it done. Come on, you bastards. Don't let them surround us, lads. Watch your flakes. Steady the lines. Oh, no. The melee fight is done. Oh, man. They absolutely brutalize our lads. Ah, oh, my banner, no. Come on, lads. Kill them all. Come on. Ooh. Very nice. All right, that's a majority of their force already done. All that remains are their archers and their horsemen. Soldier, kill them all! Yep. Full send it, lads. Let us kill the bastards. All those who remain, cut them down. Where did their horsemen go? They're practically, oh, they were entirely defeated. That's amazing. Where is your king? Where are you, Storbjorn? Oh, damn, I got hit. Come on, you bastard. Good shot, lads. Nice. Good shit, lads. Death to the Bronze Guardian, bastards. Kill the heathen scum. Oh, damn. Took his ass down. Who remains? Oh, just their four archers. There are no archers. Two archers. Oh, damn. Woo! Not bad, lads. Very not bad indeed. There's got to be like one man left. Where is he? Oh, I see him. There he is. Come here, you cowardly fuck. Ah, oh, the trees, they work for the enemies. These are sturgeon trees. Come on, block his escape, lads. Ooh, very nice. Ah, oh, beautiful. That was amazing. We did lose 11 men, though. That is quite sad. Two bravers, a guardsman, two red knights, a red ranger, a mounted ranger, a red rider, a shield brother, and two sworn brothers. Their final leaves have fallen and their bodies return to the earth. May they rest in peace, lads. But the victory is ours in the end. Yeah, 15 men remain. Let us send the troops, lads. Ah, oh, beautiful. Ah, oh, poor Sir Richard. He's, he's been getting beat up this episode. But that is quite alright. You are my prisoner now, my lords. Yeah, Osmunda Sigtriggerson. Ah, oh, that's crazy. We've met a lot of the uh, the mad lads from previous uh, from our previous series, actually. Grand Prince Storbjorn Bayerson. Yeah, you are my prisoner now, Grand Prince. 220 prisoners. We'll take as many as we can, but no more than that. Yeah, our uh, infantry numbers were decimated. Poor Victorian, Sir Brandon, Sir Richard, and Groose the True. All of them were wounded. Will of the Rivers was uh, thriving in this battle with the uh, the archer formations. God, I love that guy. I love Will, dude. He's uh such a badass. Like, what a fucking legend. Let's see. Can I uh can I reward him with a with a better sword? Nah, cause he's kind of got like the best two-handed sword we could give him at the moment. That's fine though. What about some better armor? 
No, nah, because he doesn't really need anything. Like, he's kind of already pretty dripped out, if I'm being honest. Oh, we could give him these uh, steel pauldrons, yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't really fit the armor, but I, I think it looks pretty nice. I'm not going to lie. We'll let him hold on to it. As kind of like a reward for his uh, his outstanding valor in battle. Very nice. We've almost got the uh, the bastards beaten, lads. They don't have any more defenders, though, here. Oh, I can't donate any more prisoners. That's awful. We're going to have to wait here. Yeah, because there's, uh, there's a lot of minor parties still lurking around. Nice. They took Uthalime. Yeah, look at that. The three lads. Boom. All of y'all. Get in there. Alright, we definitely need to uh, replenish our troop numbers, though. So let's get some dregs and some sworn brothers in here. Very nice. Ooh, interesting. So for our next leadership perk, I'm thinking we should do presence, uh, which gives security while we wait in a town, which kind of makes sense for, like, a group of guardsmen, essentially. Um, we're not... I don't want to go for leader of the masses, because we're not really, like, a lord. You know, we don't really own any lands just yet. Uh, so definitely presence is going to be our best bet here. Look at that. And we're damn near uh, prepared to create our own kingdom, uh, which is not bad. But alas, we will finish this episode. Or we will finish this uh, this war. I don't, e I don't even know what to say for this outro. Like, I'm sweating horrendously. Just because that was like just the siege battle, the siege defense. And facing off against the Grand Prince, Storbjorn uh, Beosin himself, was just absolutely terrifying. But we survived, lads. Once again, we have survived. But we face a much greater threat than the uh, the Bronze Guardians of the North. And that is the, uh, the strength of the Vlandian Knights to our west under the leadership of, uh, of Edward, son of Alfred. We do have... A challenge ahead of us, lads. And uh, this challenge will be tackled on Wednesday's episode. So, until that time, my loyal knights, always remember the words of our oath, honor and service, glory and sacrifice. And I, your Lord Commander, will see you in the battles ahead. Goodbye, my rangers.